road to Fredericksburg is lined with a couple of dozen red wine rest stops. Pop the cork, pour a glass, and then sip and see during one of the longest periods of totality anywhere on the eclipse path. Fredericksburg really stands out in this eclipse because we are at the epicenter. Christine Bobko knows that from where she's sitting, she'll be able to see the moon completely block the face of the sun for four minutes and 24 seconds. Eclipse chasers did the math a couple of years ago. They're booking all of our hotels out, Airbnbs. This is a, a very, very big event for them, and they are coming to the place that is going to have the longest length of totality, and that is us. Blake is more impressed with breakfast than day turning to night around 1.30 in the afternoon on April 8th. The Rhinery is one of many Hill Country wineries hosting day-long watch parties. It will be the first time the star power of this 4,000-pound white rhino is eclipsed by the sun and the moon. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event. David Bradbury is the sommelier at the Rhinery. He may need a glass of wine if Central Texas and the Hill Country get the predicted tidal wave of tourism. We're hoping that it's going to be easier than uh, we've been led to believe. That may be wishful thinking. Fredericksburg officials are predicting that next Monday, more visitors will roll in on Highway 290 than ever before on a single day. On a normal, busy, heavy weekend in Fredericksburg, we could see around 30,000, but right now we're expecting close to 100,000 people to come to Fredericksburg on April 8th. Fredericksburg is basing its planning on what other cities experienced during the 2017 eclipse. That includes extreme traffic congestion, running out of fuel at gas stations, and enormous strains on first responders. I think there's just a lot of unknown. We don't really know what's going to happen that day until we get there. Blake munches through more than 50 pounds of hay a day. The Rhinery and many other businesses are making sure they're prepared for the equivalent of a snowstorm by stocking up on food and bringing in sleeping bags and air mattresses for staff. The biggest worry is immediately after the eclipse when the crowds that have trickled in gush out on Highway 290. I wouldn't be rushing to leave. I think a lot of the places people are going to rush to get out the door and think they're going to be the first people, but I think everyone has that idea. Across the hill country, wineries, restaurants, and gas stations are taking a worst case scenario approach to a not to be missed event. Businesses hope it pays off with four minutes of darkness, putting them even deeper in the black. It's just going to be a really unique place to see this historic moment. In Fredericksburg, Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.